Hi, this is First Selectman Mike Tetro, and I'm here to give you an update on the town of Fairfield and what the impact of the state budget, or in this case, the lack of a state budget, is meaning to our town. We have roughly five million dollars in state aid in our budget, and at this point of the year, uh, we've passed our budget, we've even sent on our tax bills. So when we look at that five million, if the state doesn't pass a budget, then we lose virtually four to five million of that because they will not be sending us checks. If the state does pass a budget, given what we're projecting, we could lose between two and four million. Now these are all estimates, but at this point in the year, since we've already started our fiscal year, we have to make projections. We have to be ready. We have to make preparations for what that'll mean. And as I said, we've passed our budget. So now we're guided by state statute. The biggest part of our budget is the Board of Ed, which is 60 to 65 percent of our operating budget. Due to state statute, we cannot cut that budget without Board of Ed permission. The Board of Ed's in a tough situation because they're projecting they're losing two to four million uh, in addition to what I'd mentioned earlier. So they're having their struggles to make do in this environment. In addition, to that 65 percent the Board of Ed that we can't cut, we then have another 10 percent in debt service. That gets us up to 75 percent. We then have another uh, payments for pension and for OPEB or retiree medical that we're not going to cut because once we get behind the eight ball there, that's too hard to make up. But that gets us to almost 80 percent of our budget that at this point we cannot cut. So when we're looking for an adjustment of four to five million dollars, that becomes a real struggle. Now we're looking at four to five million dollars. If we don't get that, uh, we have roughly, uh, starting September 1st, 10 months left in our fiscal year. So we're looking at, at literally 400 to 500 thousand dollars per month that we have to make an adjustment on the town side. We have 20 percent of our budget to make that adjustment with. Now that 20% includes our funding for police, fire, public works, the library, parks and rec, and a host of other departments. So it's going to be a real challenge in terms of going back and looking where do we do that? How do we get that money out? Well, I've asked the department heads to go out and each talk to three other towns, to their departments, to see what we can learn, how we make sure that we have best practices, how do we make sure we're being as productive as we can. I'll be sitting down with them over the next month to look at those recommendations, plus looking at legally what we're required to provide in each department so we can see what adjustments are possible. This is not an easy task, and I'd like to say that, that the residents won't see any changes, but these numbers are too big. The residents will see changes in the services we provide, potentially the hours we're open, and that may vary department by department. I want to make sure that you're all aware of what's taking place and I want to thank you for listening to this quick update because as we go through this, um, we've got major work to do both this fiscal year but this is also going to lead into the budget for the next fiscal year. This is not a one-year problem. The state issues are ongoing. Fortunately, Fairfield's in strong financial position. We just got our AAA rating renewed and we're in better shape than most towns to deal with this, but there will be service level adjustments. Stay tuned for updates on an ongoing basis. We'll keep you aware to make sure that you can see what's coming. I want to thank you for listening and thank you for your help and patience as we go through this.